Okay, let's talk about how to use the Basso Lights app. As you can see, we have this super beautiful wedding venue that we installed. We just added the new Basso Lights app. So we'll give you a little bit of a run through on how all that works and um, how to use this app entirely. So right here you can see you got the name of your lights. This is the Stillwater Hollow location uh, for the wedding venue. Um, super easily you can see right here that if we toggle this button right here just turn their lights on you can see they're all solid white right now and then you press that button again and it turns them off and then if you want to change the brightness of the lights at any time you can also move the slider around so if I want them super bright almost x-ray bright this is in the middle of the day and you can just see how bright they are on this whole entire house it's quite amazing and then if I want them super dim, I just take the slider down. And then I can always just rub our little uh, Bossolino cat right here for good luck. Um, let's talk about the preset. So down here you have the preset booklet. You can go ahead and click that. And you can look through all the different categories that we have. Um, it's really nice because if you want to look at all the Christmas presets, you can click Christmas or all the Halloween presets. Um, I'm a really big fan of the American ones. We'll go ahead and take a look at those. When looking through the presets, you can actually see that all of them are here, and if there's more than just what you see here, you can scroll up and down. You can flip through each of these presets to see what each of them do before it actually applies on your home. So that way I don't have to be outside to actually see my lights. So in this case, America One's probably one of my favorites, so I just queue up that preset. And then we go ahead and click apply to home and the preset starts you can see right there if I want to change to something else just click a different preset click apply as easy as that so this is where things get really fun is the control section so there's two options you have with the presets that we have loaded you can either customize presets of ours if you'd like to or you can create your own from scratch so first we'll talk about making changes to our presets so right right here you can see I just opened up the control button which is found at the bottom middle you can go ahead and look at the preset section right here you can see all the different presets we have so if I wanted to look at the same preset that we were working on just earlier and click America click America 1 and you can see the exact colors that this preset's using. It looks like classic red, white, and blue. I can even see a preview of what that looks like on the home. So if I want to change those colors, and instead of red, white, and blue, I want it to be red, blue, and green. Just go ahead to this color wheel, click apply, and now you can see the preview that it's actually red, blue, green. This effect has a blend in there, so you can see the I can change that down here. You can also change how fast it's changing. If I want to go really crazy fast or really slow, almost not moving. And you can change the warmness level right here too. Now keep in mind, as I'm playing with all of this, nothing's actually changing on my house until I click apply to home. So, right now the lights are just kind of a red, white, and blue. But once I click apply, they're going to be a red, blue, green, as you can see. They have all the colors in there. So let's say I decide, oh my gosh, I really love the red, blue, green preset. I want that to be a new option in my presets. You can just go ahead and click the save button up here. We'll name it red, blue, green. Save as a new preset. Now, at any time in the future, I can go to my preset book. I can click my presets and then I can go ahead and change this little icon however I want. If I click the RG, RBG, it will actually show what the preset looks like. I can apply it to my house. And I can even change the different icons. And go straight to the preset to edit it. And I can change the way it shows up by clicking update icon. You can look at all the different stuff. So that's how you create a new preset based off of the ones we have. Now where we really dove into making 
the Basso lights really superior is the um, addressable bulb feature where you can change every single light bulb a different color if you wanted to. So we'll go back to the control section. You see how it kind of starts us over and you can click right here where it says entire system. Make sure no presets selected and no effects are selected. Right here you can see that this wedding venue has a total of 434 lights. Where I'm standing right here is actually the end of the system. So I'll get, go ahead and show you how this section works. If I would like to change any of these bulbs, I click the select button first. Then I select a bulb. See how it highlights. And then I can select the color wheel right here. Oops. I accidentally selected too many. One bulb. And I want it to be blue. And then the next bulb, I would like that to be white. And then the third bulb, I would like that to be red. You can also slide here to see all the different colors. And you can also change any color you want up here at the top. So the three last bulbs on my system should be red, white, and blue. So all I'm gonna have to do is just to click apply to home for that to happen. So we'll go ahead and see that real time. Here's the end of our system. We'll click apply to home. Sometimes you do have to select the button twice. And there we go. You can see that the last three bulbs of our system are red, white, and blue. Now here's the crazy part is you can actually get a little wild with this and you can make a pattern. You gotta make sure you click the select button and you can highlight the pattern you'd like to copy and you click the repeat button. Now it repeats that design on the entire system. It's never been easier to create a whole new preset. And once I click apply to home, you'll be able to see now we have a pattern of red, white, and blue. And we just did that in about 30 seconds once you learn how to do it all. Very easy. Okay, now we'll talk about scheduling. So scheduling has never been easier. We go ahead and click the schedule icon down here. And you can see that my still water hollow device is selected and I just click create new. Very easily I can just name, I'll name this test. You can select which preset will be part of this timer. It's called scheduling, or at least a scheduled timer in this section. And I want to do a custom one with the preset I just made, RBG, red, blue, green. You click that preview button to see what it looks like. You can see right there, that's the preset I made. That way you don't even have to go outside to see it on your house. Then, you go ahead and select the time. So I want it to start at 2 o'clock. and I want it to end at three o'clock. Now this will actually switch your lights to this preset and then at three o'clock it would turn off. You gotta keep in mind that when you set a timer it only selects the current day you're in. So I wanna keep this timer set up for at least one month. And you can see the section right here that if I want them to be on every day, you leave these all selected. If I want it to be every other day, it's just as easy as that. Once you've done all these selections, you in the timer and schedule is set up exactly how you want. You click schedule and then the lights are ready to go. You can also toggle these timers and schedules however you'd like. If today I don't want this timer to be working at all, I just turn it off and create a new one. Lastly, we'll talk about the settings section. One of our biggest requests is um, having a actual manual of how to use the light. So you can see right here we have a full user manual, you can click at any time. You can go ahead and go through all of this and you can actually see step by step how everything works in the lights, Basso Lights app. Very handy. You can also take a look at our facts of our company and you can edit your profile and you can also reach out to us at any time right through the app. Alright, that's how you use the Bossa Lights app. Thank you.